Hello, I am Dr. Nagaraj Puttaswamy. I am a laparoscopic and bariatric surgeon at Punya Hospitals, Bangalore. See, intersusception is again uh, what I am wanting to make it a little more clear is uh, the proximal part of the intestine gets into the distal part of the intestine. What we have to understand here, see, why would the intestine get into the distal part? So there is a pre-existing disorder condition which will drive the proximal intestine into the distal part. But uh, what happens during this process? The intestine is otherwise a relatively a flexible tube which is rubberish, which is uh, you know easily you know elastic like thing uh, which can be easily distended. But once the you know proximal part gets into the distal part, uh, it becomes relatively edematous. I mean to say that it becomes swollen. See so the swollen intestine. Uh, becomes uh, you know, a such a discomfort scenario, it will not admit even a drop of water from the proximal side to the distal side. So the patient develops severe pain abdomen and vomiting and uh, the proximal part of the intestine starts to swell because there is some amount of food content or even the fluid content. See, nature tries to take care, it will try to fight, it will try to push. Uh, effort, uh, the more it goes uh, to drive the uh, food particle into it, uh, the intersusception further gets into. So this is how it will happen. During this process, if it is not you know, attended immediately or uh, on priority, see, the vascularity, I mean to say the blood supply of the intestine tries to get hampered. Over a period of time, say for example, if we don't try to manage it within the first 24 hours, the hampering of the blood supply becomes so severe that uh, that segment of the intestine becomes gangrenous. If you don't even admit or even treat, uh, try to understand or diagnose and treat the patient, uh, this gangrene is a fulminant condition which is there in the abdominal cavity and uh, see if it is not managed, uh, definitely patient will land up in a position where there will be multi-organ failure due to kidney or heart or respiratory problems uh, and finally the patient has to die. If this is what uh, the seriousness of the condition amounts unto. So, if it is ad uh, diagnosed and treated in appropriate time, there is no question the patient has to die. But if it is gone unattended, there is always a possibility that a patient can die.